Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the tutorial for Won't Ever Say Goodbye. Um, I'm not really sure why we're calling these tutorials. Um, they're really not tutorials. I, they're, they, they're more like uh, lectures that nobody asked for. Um, who just did that? No, I want to know. Stand up. Which is maybe a much better title for this series. Matt Ryan, looking at you. Uh, but there's some really cool shit happening in this song, and I thought we could dive in. First, as you probably noticed, the start of this song is sort of this lo-fi, single track, one mic thing that sort of tumbles into the um, actual production. Uh, but we recorded that in the room right across from here, through this glass that you can't see. Um, it's a small room sound treated with very little room vibe. So when we first did it, which was one mic surrounding Matt on the Whirly, this is what it sounded like. Even if I'm wrong about it. Fine, but sort of really dry and um, a little stale. And there's nothing really fancy going on here, but the UAD Ocean Way, the UAD Lexicon, and then the trusty Wolf Compressor, mostly for um, WoW and Lo-Fi, and you get this. Even if I'm wrong about it. Cool. Then uh, throughout this song, um, there's this sort of really odd rhythmic riff that I'm not even sure how we came up with it or how it happened, uh, but it's this thing. Now, you might be wondering, if you care, what the hell that is. Um, and it took us a really long time to figure out that sound. But essentially, the riff is... Right? Um, it's, it's sort of playing two strings at once throughout with this heavy palm mute. It's not, right? It's. So, once we tracked that, we ended up throwing it through the Earthquaker Devices uh, Spatial Delivery Auto Wah, which is an amazing pedal, um, doubling it, and the one on the left is pitched up an octave to sound. So here it is down an octave with the auto wah. And then up an octave, we get this, which is somehow cooler than if I had just played it up an octave. And then the one on the right, um, a similar effect, but um, staying down the octave. And then it just kind of was lacking some attack, some bite. So we threw, I, I think it was a Rhodes, through a vocoder playing this. Oh, and then um, it's through the soft tube Oto Bisqui 8 bit effect, which Matt introduced me to, um, which is an amazing, it's French, so you ha it's not biscuit. I mean, it is biscuit, but it's Bisqui. 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 Um, and then those three combined create that. Thing. So moving on to some of the vocals. In the second verse, there's an effect that I think is one of the coolest parts of this song, and you might not even notice it um, on a casual listen. But it's a vocoder through the same Ottawa again um, of the lead vocal. And just the wet of that sounds like this. So that's taking um, the feed from the lead vocal, the verse lead, running it through a vocoder and then through an auto wah. So with, with the dry vocal and that, it kind of creates this background, it's like a um, sort of like a non-lin orchestra. And I can do my best to fake it And I'll wait a couple rings to take it 
But I'll still hang to every word you say. Um, and it, it, it's, it's subtle, but, but really important in that verse, which doesn't have a lot else going on. Um, okay, so vocals. Here's the chorus. Now, if you remember from last week, kids, that's the three of us uh, three times, each tripled. So that's a total of nine of us. Um, and it sounds cool. sounds good. Um, there's a little bit of verb on there. And we there's this effect that's going on that you can probably notice that we learned from uh, our buddy Kekov, um, who we demoed this song with. Um, and it's this high octave. So what we did is we took all of those nine tracks, bounced them into one, pitched them up an octave, and added the lexicon 224 on like a plate verb in the background, just on that ah section, and you get this. Very chipmunky by itself, but with all the vocals in, it creates this almost angelic um, tail that you can hear uh, as the vocals fade. And that's throughout the entire song too. And another thing that we've started doing um, a lot on this record that you'll hear is um, sort of using our three parts as instruments rather than just vocals. So treating them kind of like synths. Um, so we did this sort of basic um, choral ooh uh, in the background of all the choruses. And then we threw it um, into the Sound Toys uh, tremolator to really treat it more like a synth. Right. Sounds cool, but in keeping with the uh, chipmunk vibes, uh, we also bounced that down, pitched it up, and added uh, some Valhalla verb, and you get this. Um, and then finally, there was a different bridge that we had written to this song that actually happened twice. Um, and as we were working on it, we realized that it was, there was like steel drums in it. You know what I mean? No one, no one needs that unless you're at Tommy Bahamas in Orlando, uh, with your grandparents. You should definitely have steel drums in that setting, but didn't need it. So we wrote this sort of new bridge, which is more of just like a B section, um, leading into the final chorus, and it's one of my favorite moments in the whole record. Um, it just releases into that final chorus in such a satisfying way. So here's that. No more. Lot of shit happening <laughs> in this section. Um, Matt played these two sort of sweeps on the Korg MS-20 uh, that really give this thing that tension. Here's both of them together. And then underneath that all is this um, sort of uh, George Harrison style guitar direct in uh, pushed pre sound. You'll hear it on like What Is Life on All Things Must Pass. The, uh, there we go. Right. Um, JHS actually makes an amazing pedal that simulates a Neve pre being pushed with a guitar direct in called the Color Blocks. Uh, color Box, not the Color Blocks. Color Box. Um, there's also a 500 series of that, which um, if uh, JHS, if you want to send me one of those, great. So that's happening underneath here, right? Uh, with a phaser. Always, always with a phaser. So that's one over say goodbye. Hopefully you've enjoyed this, um, and we'll see you next month.